This lesson will cover aviation weather services. Through a complex system of weather services, government agencies, and independent weather observers, pilots and other aviation professionals receive the benefit of this vast knowledge base in the form of up-to-date weather reports and forecasts. These reports and forecasts enable pilots to make informed decisions regarding weather and flight safety before and during a flight. There are four types of weather observations, surface, upper air, radar, and satellite. Surface Aviation Weather Observations, METARs, are a compilation of elements of the current weather at individual ground stations across the United States that provide continuous, up-to-date weather information. Automated weather sources, such as the Automated Weather Observing Systems, AWOS, Automated Surface Observing Systems, ASOS, Air Route Traffic Control Center, ARTCC facilities, as well as other automated facilities, also play a major role in the gathering of surface observations. Surface observations provide local weather conditions and other relevant information for a radius of five miles of a specific airport. This information includes the type of report, station identifier, date and time, modifier as required, wind, visibility, runway visual range, RVR, weather phenomena, sky condition, temperature dew point, altimeter reading, and applicable remarks. Although the reports cover only a small radius, the pilot can generate a good picture of the weather over a wide area when many reporting stations are looked at together. Prior to every flight, pilots should gather all information vital to the nature of the flight. This includes an appropriate weather briefing obtained from a specialist at an FSS, AFSS, or NWS. For weather specialists to provide an appropriate weather briefing, they need to know which of the three types of briefings is needed. Standard, abbreviated, or outlook. A standard briefing is the most complete report and provides the overall weather picture. This type of briefing should be obtained prior to the departure of any flight and should be used during flight planning. An abbreviated briefing is a shortened version of the standard briefing. It should be requested when a departure has been delayed or when weather information is needed to update the previous briefing. An outlook briefing should be requested when a planned departure is six hours or more away. It provides initial forecast information that is limited in scope due to the time frame of the planned flight. Aviation weather reports are designed to give accurate depictions of current weather conditions. Each report provides current information that is updated at different times. Some typical reports are METAR, PIREPS, and radar weather reports, SDs. Shown above is a METAR. A METAR is an observation of current surface weather reported in a standard international format. METARs are issued hourly unless significant weather changes have occurred. A special METAR, SPECI, can be issued at any interval between routine METAR reports. A typical METAR report contains the following information in sequential order. One, type of report, METAR. There are two different types of METAR reports. The first is the routine METAR report that is transmitted every hour. The second is the aviation selected SPECI. This is a special report that can be given at any time to update the METAR for rapidly changing weather conditions, aircraft mishaps, or other critical information. Two, station identifier, KGGG, a four-letter code as established by the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. Above shows the identifier for Gregg County Airport in Longview, Texas, K being the country designation and GGG being the airport identifier. Alaska identifiers always begin with the letters PA and Hawaii identifiers always begin with the letters PH. 3. Date and time of report 161753Z depicted in a six-digit group. The first two numbers stand for the day of the month. The last four stand for time converted to Zulu time, which is depicted at the end with a letter Z. Four modifier, auto, denotes that the METAR came from an automated source 
or that the report was corrected. If the notation auto is listed in the METAR, the report came from an automated source. It also lists A01 or A02 in the remarks section to indicate the type of precipitation sensors employed at the automated station. When the modifier COR is used, it identifies a corrected report sent out to replace an earlier report that contained an error. 5 WIND 14021G26 reported with a five-digit code unless the speed of the wind is over 99 knots. The first three digits indicate the direction the true wind is blowing in tens of degrees. If the wind is variable, it is reported as VRB. The last two digits indicate the speed of the wind in knots. If the winds are gusting, the letter G follows the wind speed, followed by the peak gust recorded. 6. Visibility, 3 quarters SM. The prevailing visibility is reported in statute miles as denoted by the letters SM. It is reported in both miles and fractions of miles. At times, runway visual range, RVR, is reported following the prevailing visibility. RVR is the distance a pilot can see down the runway in a moving aircraft. When RVR is reported, it is shown with an R then the runway number, followed by a slant, then the visual range in feet. 7. Weather, plus TSRA, BR, can be broken down into two different categories, qualifiers and weather phenomenon. First, the qualifiers of intensity, proximity, and the descriptor of the weather will be given. The intensity may be light, minus, moderate, blank, or heavy, plus. Proximity only depicts weather phenomena that are in the airport vicinity. The notation VC indicates a specific weather phenomenon is in the vicinity of 5 to 10 miles from the airport. Descriptors are used to describe certain types of precipitation and obscurations. Weather phenomena may be reported as being precipitation, obscurations, and other phenomena such as squalls or funnel clouds. Descriptions of weather phenomena as they begin or end and hailstone size are also listed in the remarks section of the report. 8. Sky Condition BKN 008 OVC 012 CB Always reported in the sequence of amount, height, and type or indefinite ceiling height. The heights of the cloud bases are reported with a three-digit number in hundreds of feet AGL. The types of clouds, specifically towering cumulus, TCU, or cumulonimbus, CB clouds, are reported with their height. Contractions are used to describe the amount of cloud coverage and obscuring phenomena. The amount of sky coverage is reported in eighths of the sky from horizon to horizon. 9. Temperature and dew point, 18-17. The air temperature and dew point are always given in degrees Celsius. Temperatures below zero degrees Celsius are preceded by the letter M to indicate minus. 10. Altimeter setting, A2970, reported as inches of mercury, HG, in a four-digit number group, it is always preceded by the letter A. Rising or falling pressure may also be denoted in the remarks section as P-R-E-S-R-R -R or P-R-E-S-F-R, -R, respectively. 11. Remarks. The remarks section always begins with the letters R-M-K. Comments may or may not appear in this section of the METAR. The information contained in this section may include wind data, variable visibility, beginning and ending times of particular phenomenon, pressure information, and various other information deemed necessary. A TAF is a report established for the five statute mile radius around an airport. TAF reports are usually given for larger airports. Each TAF is valid for a 30-hour time period and is updated four times a day at 0000 Zulu, 0600 Zulu, 1200 Zulu, and 1800 Zulu. The TAF utilizes the same descriptors and abbreviations as used in the METAR report. 
The TAF indicates the following information in sequential order. 1. Type of report, TAF. A TAF can be either a routine forecast, TAF, or an amended forecast, TAF AMD. 2. ICAO Station Identifier, KPIR. Same identifiers as a METAR report. 3. Date and time, 11, 11.30 Zulu. Date is the first two numbers, followed by the time being the last four numbers given in Zulu time. 4. Valid period, date and time, 11, 12, 12. The valid forecast time period is given by a six-digit number group. The first two numbers indicate the date, followed by the two-digit beginning time for the valid period, and the last two digits are the ending time. 5. Forecast wind, 150-12KT. The wind direction and speed forecast are given in a five-digit number group. The first three indicate the direction of the wind in reference to true north. The last two digits state the wind speed in knots, as denoted by the letters KT. 6. Forecast visibility, P6SM, given in statute miles, and may be in whole numbers or fractions. If the forecast is greater than 6 miles, it will be coded as P6SM. 7. Forecast significant weather. Weather phenomena are coded in the TAF reports in the same format as the METAR. If no significant weather is expected during the forecast time period, the denotation NSW is included in the becoming or temporary weather groups. 8. Forecast sky condition, given in the same manner as the METAR. Only cumulonimbus, CB clouds are forecast in this portion of the TAF report as opposed to CBs and towering cumulus in the METAR. 9. Forecast change group. For any significant weather change forecast to occur during the TAF time period, the expected conditions and time period are included in this group. This information may be shown as from FM, becoming BECMG, and temporary tempo. FM is used when a rapid and significant change, usually within an hour, is expected. Becoming is used when a gradual change in the weather is expected over a period of no more than two hours. Tempo is used for temporary fluctuations of weather expected to last less than one hour. 10. Probability forecast. A given percentage that describes the probability of thunderstorms and precipitation occurring in the coming hours. This forecast is not used for the first six hours of the 24-hour forecast. A convective SIGMET, WST, is an in-flight weather advisory issued for hazardous convective weather that affects the safety of every flight. Convective SIGMETs are issued for severe thunderstorms with surface winds greater than 50 knots, hail at the surface greater than or equal to 3 quarters inch in diameter, or tornadoes. They are also issued to advise pilots of embedded thunderstorms, lines of thunderstorms, or thunderstorms with heavy or greater precipitation that affect 40% or more of a 3,000 square foot or greater region. While no weather forecast is guaranteed to be 100% accurate, pilots have access to a myriad of weather information on which to base flight decisions. Weather products available for pre-flight planning to en route information received over the radio or via satellite link, provide the pilot with the most accurate and up-to-date information available. Each report provides a piece of the weather puzzle. Pilots must use several reports to get an overall picture and gain an understanding of the weather that will affect the safe completion of a flight. This concludes your introduction to Aviation Weather Services. We hope you learned a lot. Please help us spread the word about Pilot Training System, and we look forward to further servicing your flight training needs.